hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is deborah so guys i was craving for corn dogs and um i searched the recipe and decided to do it but guys it was so funny i'll be showing how i did this some part of it unedited it was funny it was like what i ordered versus what i got but it was actually fun doing so that plate contained flour, one cup of flour, half cup of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder and salt. Then that is milk, liquid milk. And here in this plate, I've got some sausages. Um, I've got two eggs. Then the start of the prepping is cornmeal like this is the white cornmeal and the previous videos i used to see they use yellow corn but here i have white corn so this is my mixing bowl i'll be using this to mix all the ingredients together then that mug okay already i soaked the sticks i'll be using for this so it doesn't burn while i'm frying it and I'll be using this uh, mug to dip in the hot dog into the um, butter. So keep watching, guys. Yeah. But before we start, um, before I started, I had to saute the sausage. Yeah, I had to saute the sausage. Because it was cold, I, I brought it out from the freezer. So I had to make it be a little warm before I started with what I was doing. So here guys, I'll be mixing all the dry ingredients together. Before I add in the liquid ingredients, which are the milk and the eggs. So I'm transferring it to my mixing bowl <laughs> guys you can't imagine the kind of excitement i had trying this recipe for the fact that there was corn in that mixture made me to be more excited yeah because i don't think i've done any snacks that uh, comprises of corn so when i when i saw these snacks i was like even the shape everything just enticed me and i decided to give this a try notes guys that i'm doing this for the first time yeah this is my first time <laughs> and the result was it was hilarious guys but keep watching so now i've got to add um the eggs yeah i'll be using two eggs for this recipe it's not much it's not that much so two eggs is fine then after that i'll be adding the milk then i'll mix the, the whole thing together when you're mixing if the consistency is so hard just add a little bit of milk or if you run out of milk you can just use a little bit of water but in this video i think my mixture was was a bit um a bit watery that was why the the butter couldn't like when i put it in the oil it, it was looking funny you guys will have to see that later so i think my my butter was kind of um a little watery yeah so when you want to try this yeah do not allow your butter don't over mix your butter do not make it to be um too light yeah just moderate but i will advise if you want to do this go search the recipe yeah the correct measurement because this thing i'm doing here is just like i'm trying to have fun guys yeah every day is not um a day of perfection so making this was actually fun for me because it was my first time doing it and it was not like i was expecting it to be so perfect but the outcome actually shocked me it reminded me of one of the videos i watch all these food hacks they'll be showing you stuff that you think that's the reality but that's not it so i had to add some vanilla into that mixture and i'm so glad i did because those eggs were kind of like trying to overpower the the um the taste of the butter so the vanilla kind of balanced the smell and everything 
So I'm now transferring it to my mug for easy frying. So guys, let's go. If you've watched up to this point, please consider to subscribe and help me go on YouTube. And I hope also you give this a try. You know what? What one funny thing was that I tried to browse this to check this um on on one food site to see if I can order it. Ah, guys, it was like it was a bit expensive. Yeah, I wasn't expecting what I saw. So it was also what prompted me to go and search for the recipes and give it a try. So you can as well do this. You can even do it better than I did. So here I've put in the chopstick. It's now time to dip it into the butter. Guys, this is the moment of truth. Moment of reality. I, I literally laughed here when I was frying this. Like I was like, can you imagine? It's not really as easy as I thought it should be. But at the end, I saw where I, I didn't do it well. And that was from the butter mixture. It was, it was kind of light. And again, I didn't allow the butter to drip completely from the body of the hot dog before putting it into the oil. So the, the whole thing was looking like a cartoon network.
yes what i got guys my homemade first trial conducts it tasted so nice the texture of the butter was nice after cooks it was kind of fluffy everything was just nice just the shape that wasn't looking that perfect for me i urge you also to try this if you crave for conducts and do not forget to subscribe thank you bye